live at the Howard Stern Private Parts premiere party, and we're here with Amy Lynn. Now, you are a regular on Howard's show. Yes, I believe I'm the number one female guest on the show ever. How many times have you done the show? At least 200. At least 200? So. Yeah, that's up there. Really quickly, give me the most memorable moment. On my 22nd birthday, I went in with Sam Henderson, and she spanked me 22 times on my bottom. Oh, the birthday present. Well, that is a very memorable <laughs> birthday present. Speaking of memorable, let's check out what Howard and the gang are up to right now. I'm, I'm enjoying my time now. What do you do? What do you do? Just have sex and stuff? He lays out in the sun. I have sex all day, you know? Yeah, it's great. You're having sex with me. I have the sun and have sex all day. That's cool. <laughs> I wish I was doing that too. Where are you living now? You're living in New York still? Yeah, I'm in New York. Yeah. I think, you know, with that tan you have, I think you do a living in Hawaii. Now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, Thanks for being here tonight. Thank you, Alan. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, um, i got to tell you something. This is Simon Rex of MTV. How you doing, Simon? So what happened? I mean, did we air the uh, premiere on MTV? Yes, we aired earlier, Howard. Did it really? Yeah. So how did it look? I didn't see it, actually. I was here waiting to get in here to talk to you all night. Yeah. I am here right now with director Betty Thomas. Now, Betty, this is a long way from Hill Street Blues. You are a big-time, award-winning director, and now the director of the Howard Stern movie. How does it feel? if I would ever get a directing job. And, and now you have, I mean, the late shift, the Brady Bunch, I mean, the credits go on and on and on, 80, uh, around the world in 80 days, kind of. Yeah. One of my better movies. Now they're not on all 80s. What, what's the one you come in? Dr. Doolittle. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got so many projects that I can't keep track of them all. What was your first reaction when they came to you and said, do you want to direct Howard Stern? I said, uh, I think you probably have the wrong person. Why did you think that? I wasn't much of a fan, and uh, I couldn't imagine a movie with him in it that would have any reason for existing, really. What changed your mind? The script. I read the script, and uh, that and meeting Marlowe, those two things together, I think. Well, the movie is wonderful. I mean, it's huge. It's going to be a monster. How are you going to deal with this? Oh, look what we have here. Now, tell, tell me about yourself. You play Howard. Was it fun? Yes, it was fun. Did you like meeting him? Yes. Are you going to one day be allowed to listen to his radio show? I am allowed to listen to him. You are allowed to. So, Betty, what was it like directing everyone from Howard Stern all the way down to? Kids. Talented kids. Very talented kids. Uh, we all, I think we were the only kids we had. Child type, and uh, he was probably the most talented and most experienced person on the set. <laughs> well, you did an amazing job. The movie is hysterical. There are wonderful performances, and we cannot wait for your next movie. Thank you so much. We will be back with more live on the Howard Stern Private Parts premiere party, live only and exclusively on E! Welcome back, everybody. We are here in New York City at Madison Square Garden. It's the live coverage of Howard Stern's Private Parts premiere party. Now, during that last segment, we went outside on the streets of New York where there were close to a 1,000 people looking in the windows of the party club here tonight, just hoping Howard will walk by. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, Todd, what is it about Howard that makes these people follow him wherever he goes? What makes these people so loyal? Well, it's unexplainable in reality, but we can take you in on his radio show right now and let you witness the magic, so to speak, all for yourself. Have a listen. Hey, hey, yeah, you, 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 nice you. idea. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> See, I think you should have introduced me, you know, with the Let's Get Ready to Rumble. You can still do it. Yeah. 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 You do it now, and I'll just put it in. Actually, when I came in, uh, at the very beginning, he uh, had me do something at the, it was like two separate sections, you were down at the other end, and uh, I said, you know, New York, are you ready? And the place went nuts because I've never seen so, so many mouth breathers in my life. Let's but get ready to... It was like, ladies and gentlemen, from Madison Square Garden, it's the world premiere of Private Parts. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! No kidding. <laughs> like, yeah. right. And of course, your beautiful German girlfriend, Alina. Oh, hello, how are you? Did you enjoy the movie? Oh, it was very nice. Did you 
Did you happen to be able to understand it? I know you speak limited English. No, I understand. It was really a, so a lot of story. Oh, it was beautiful. By the way, lucky, I love it. lucky for you, the movie's on a, on a, a third-grade level because <laughs> there's, the English, there's not too much uh, complicated English in the movie. She, yeah, she reads, writes, and speaks English better than most. Uh, she really is greater than most. Well, I don't care. Yeah, she's beautiful, and that's all that counts. And well, yeah, yeah, it's good. good. It's good that she really liked the movie because that means it'll translate in Europe. Do you think the movie will play in Germany? Seriously. I think, but not now. Maybe in Canada.
did you think? Melissa, I tell you, my life has officially changed because of this private parts party here tonight. And the premiere is just, it was unreal. Unreal. Well, Todd, thank you so much for helping me out tonight. Always a pleasure working with you, my love. You know that. Well, yeah, thank you. Now, before we leave, we want to leave you with another look at what went on earlier this evening when Howard performed live with Rob Zombie. Yes. So this is it. Yes. We saw Melissa live at the Howard Stern private party we premiere it. party. We did it. We're out of here. Remember, if it's happening in entertainment, it's happening on E. Bye-bye. See ya.